Hi, everybody. Welcome to PlayStation Live from E3. Kristen and I are very excited to be joined by Nicholas, and we're going to talk about Astrobot Rescue Mission. That's right. Now, some people may remember these little bots from Playroom or Playroom VR if they had a chance to play that. So why did you decide to take these little bots on a new thematic journey? So um, with the Astrobot, we're making a VR platform game. Right. So we're taking our robots into a, a you know, classic genre reinvented for VR. So um, it's very much a, um, a big adventure with those guys. You know, they, they come from the originally inside the controller. That's where they live. But we kind of take them out inside this kind of super like, magical world in VR. And so you go on a rescue mission looking for your um, lost crew. And you control this little guy called Astro in this kind of VR environment. So the big thing about VR gameplay is that you can look all around you. So um, with, with the classic platformer, um, you, know, you get like this kind of all jumping action, but also you can use your body to kind of look around and have the kind of 360 gameplay. Yeah, and we're seeing a little bit of it right, right here. Yeah. I know it's very different than your traditional side-scrolling platformer, because not only can you look around in all directions, you actually have to sometimes to utilize exactly, the environment yeah. to your advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and okay. is this one of the big bosses that we're seeing? So there's also like a lot of big bosses. So um, Astrobot is actually, um, um, we, we did a test in the past in when we released the Playroom VR. We had a little game inside uh, the, the Playroom VR called uh, uh, Robot Rescue. And that was a sample for us. We wanted to try what it was like to have a uh, platform game in VR. And it turns out to be really, really popular with, uh, with gamers when the, you know, the VR headset came out, the right. PSVR came out. So, um, so with Astrobot, we're kind of really taking this to like a really, really big game. And one of the big things we're adding are big VR moments like this one. You're kind of running up uh, alongside this uh, giant um, oh, arm. Like and uh, the bosses are also like one of the big things. You know, in VR, everything feels huge. Yeah. And so um, bosses in VR, that's something we wanted to do and uh, we've been able to do with them. Uh, I can't Astro imagine Bob. this like forced perspective while you're inside I the know. VR headset. Yeah, yeah. You, everything's going to be looking like it's coming right at you. Exactly, exactly. And here you can see like you're, you're kind of jumping. So you, you, you're actually seeing the action from below, which is something that is completely unique in VR, because normally when you play a, a traditional game, the camera is following you more or less you know, uh, on a, on a pre-defined uh, path. But in VR, you, know, you are the camera, so you can actually play any, any way you like. Now, we see like, some of the traditional stuff with regular platformers. There's coins to collect. Obviously, we've got like, some little hover modes and jump modes. What other types of gadgets can the players use in gameplay? OK, so the other thing we have is the DualShock 4. You know, becomes visible in your hands in VR. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, that's definitely something you don't see in a lot of VR titles right now, is the addition of the DualShock controller. That's true, yeah. Right so here, here you there can is, see yeah. it becomes um, a shuriken. And by flicking on the touchpad, you can actually that's destroy cool. the environment to make a path for your character. So it's, um, it's really interesting because there is a duality to the game. You're controlling your character, but every now and then you have a job as a, you know, you exist in that world too. And it's very much a teamwork, in fact. So at kind of um, key moments, we punctuate the game with these interactions using the controller. So it could be like, for example, planting uh, these ninja stars inside the tatami to make platforms for your character. Your way up. Or using a hookshot to make um, um, a, a rope that you have to cross a river and over. Like for example, these are examples of uh, other gadgets in the game. These level designs are gorgeous, yeah. by the way. Yeah. I love how vibrant the colors are, yeah. too. The color palette. So um, the other thing we, we uh, kind of really expanded upon is the world of these characters, you know, adding lots of, kind of you know, enemies. And the character design, as well, is uh, very much uh, a big expansion on what Playroom used to be. Uh, so we have like a cast of 30 baddies, you know, uh, these six kind of uh, huge bosses. How many worlds do you get to play in? Uh, so there are 26 levels okay. all together in five worlds, but every level is pretty much unique. Um, so you kind of travel through like, you know, firelands and kind of, you know, up in the sky. And we're always trying to find worlds that do make sense in VR. So that as an experience, as a, as a, as a human being, being on this world, in these worlds also has something kind of magical and, you know, have a lot of wow factor to it. Um, and now aside, you, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I was going to say, aside to these uh, 26 uh, stages, you can unlock another 20, some more 26 stages um, that are kind of more like challenge stages for like a little bit more kind of skillful players who want to test their skills. Mm -hmm. So all together, there's actually a lot of content, and it's, it's probably around eight to ten hours of gameplay. Very now cool. you mentioned the rescue mission being so popular as like a little side quest. Mm -hmm. Will there be also little side quests in this uh, in these worlds as well? Yes. So um, you don't have to rescue all the little guys, but um, you know, in VR, you have this uh, 3D audio, uh, so you can hear where sound is coming from. Right. And you can actually, just by closing your eyes and listening, you can tell if uh, a character calling for help is just down below or kind of far away from you. And that's one of the really, really cool things about uh, uh, VR. And so 
as you play through the levels, um, you, you'll probably go back and try to rescue them all because uh, that's obviously getting your entire crew is the ultimate you know, goal of the game. Um, so there is a main path, but you kind of get to replay the levels uh, over and over again to get all the little guys. And finally, like all the coins that you pick up in a game, you can redeem them inside a, um, a kind of a collection room. Where, um, you know, in Playroom VR, we had a, a machine that you can mm -hmm. put coins inside of, and right. then like a gacha, you know, what yeah. A, a, yeah, those machines. And so you can, um, you can spend all your coins inside this machine and create like a big toy collection inside the room, oh. and you can kind of play with it as well. So there is always like um, a kind of something else to do on the side. If you want to take a break from, uh, from the adventure, you can actually go back to the... That's cool. Uh, yeah. I love this shot here. Yeah, this is the big robot that you climb. <laughs> All right, and then we're actually going to get our hands on this pretty quickly, right? Is yes. Fall, fall that's 2018? Right. Fall 2018, yeah. So a few more um, weeks to go. Wonderful. Yeah. All right, well, Nicholas, thank you so much for stopping by. Chris, thank any you. last thoughts? I just can't wait to play, honestly. <laughs> thank it you. It's so gorgeous. I want to look around everywhere. <laughs> oh, look at that's him. That's very cool. <laughs> All right, Nicholas, any, oh. any last thoughts you'd like to share with the PlayStation fans out there that are watching? Well, I think uh, probably like talking about VR, you know, like when, when you look at uh, it on the screen, uh, I think it never quite does justice to VR games. You know, VR games is something you have to try. And I think with this game in particular, uh, something I realized as we, as we worked through it, I think the appeal was a, a combination of, um, there's, a, there's um, obviously a lot of new technologies, so it's kind of very much a modern game because of the VR element. But because it's a classic genre, there is an element of nostalgia as well. And I think it's a combination of the two that is making it quite, Astro Bot quite a special game, you know. It, it is the kind of game that maybe you imagine in your head, yeah. you know, as you play the, you know, platform games being smaller. Yeah. That's very cool. I love this mechanic here. Okay, look at those ninja stars one more time. All right, well, Nicholas, thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for bringing Astro Bots. And it'll be coming fall 2018, so you'll be able to get your hands on Astro Bot Rescue Mission real soon. Stick around. We have a lot more coming up on Live from PlayStation at E3. PlayStation.